Now in this final section, we're going to check out some hoisting specific structures and their capacities. So this will be the winch and the erection hook that we're most interested in. So in order to do this, we will analyze the tension in a single cable. Remember, uh, calculating P max for a single cable was part of our, our load, um, defining our load process. And we call this value P max. And I've drawn a little diagram here for the flow of the forces. We have our um, erection hook connected to the anchor, which the chain winch, it's a part of my drawing, is connected to the erection hook. And as we winch the cables up to their construction sag, we're going to eventually reach our value of P max. And that winch is hooked to a hoisting loop, which is then clamped to the main cable to order to hoist it up to to the construction sag where we fix the cable and let it sit for 24 hours. So first, we're going to compare this to our three ton winch capacity. Because the factor of safety is already built into the winch rating, this is a pretty simple uh, calculation. Winch has a three ton rating, giving it approximately 29.4 kilonewtons of maximum force. And in this case, we only need to check that P max is just less than 29.4 kilonewtons. Now the erection hooks are, um, if you haven't uh, been familiar with construction, the construction process is much, the erection hooks are just a bent piece of reinforcing bar used by the winch while hoisting the cables and setting sag. An erection hook is embedded into the anchory bar cage uh, on what is decided as the adjustable side for construction. Now, the ASCI for a uh, bar and tension gives a factor of safety for ASD of 1.67, but we're going to use a factor of safety of 3.0 here because this is a very dangerous process. Failure of an erection hook would cause significant damage to the bridge and pose a major threat to any worker's health or anyone who's nearby. So the erection hook uh, can be seen in the anchor details and I'll paste that in the text below, just a image of the anchor, an anchor details so you can check that out while it's still fresh in your, in your brain. So to find the tension capacity of our erection hook, we use two times area of the bar times FY, where the bar area is used for a number five bar and a strength of 275 megapascals or 40 KSI. Erection hooks should always be at least number five uh, bar as specified in the drawings, the standard drawings. However, if a material shortage occurs, uh, this can be modified through a submittal of a field change request. The two in this equation is because we have two legs of steel in tension. And we can now divide the tension capacity of the erection hook by Pmax or by its factor of safety and compare it to Pmax to uh, complete this check. So in summary, during the construction phase, we want to check our anchor sliding and uplift, our winch capacity, and our erection hooks. The minimum of these will govern. And depending on the construction process and, uh, sorry, depending on your construction progress and your abutment geometry, any of these factors can end up governing your construction process.